My name is David Proctor. Um, I work for the Cultural and Historical Program, and uh, I'm the traditional advisor. I said, if you learn, don't learn how to speak Creek, you don't eat. We were sitting in the house, and then all of a sudden, my aunt came in and said something, and um, everybody got up and you know, went in the other room and stuff, and I thought, I wonder what they're doing. And um, so I walked in there, and uh, I said, y'all's eating? Y'all didn't tell me? My aunt said, I told you. She said, but you just, you didn't, you got you're going to have to learn how to speak Creek. And from then on, um, I was kind of uh, immersed in uh, the Creek language. My ceremonial ground is uh, New Tulsa, and I'm um, the, uh, the Akdeache clan. Back then, uh, not as much now, but it was taboo to go to a ceremonial ground. You know, the Baptist people especially, you know, they didn't. They didn't believe it. They wanted you to change and be, you know, be Baptist and be saved and all those other things. I started paying attention to what, you know, ceremonialism is about, you know, and it's all, you know, it's, it's a religion in itself. Um, one of the main foundations of ceremonialism, you know, with Greek people is, uh, you know, you have to be lowly, you have to be humble, and you have to have respect for everybody, love for everybody. The main thing about uh, ceremonies and things is uh, you know you want to you want your people to be healthy the green corn ceremony is uh, kind of like uh, giving the creator uh thanks for you know for letting us have you know back in the day you know it was for uh for the harvest um there's someone you know that's over us and stuff you know we're not uh perfect people. You know, like I said, you know, you thank the Creator for, you know, all that He's done, you know, helping your families and your your relatives and everything, you know, that. Traditionalism and, and Christianity are kind of, uh, they run parallel with each other. Um, we both um, pray. The church people, you know, we call God, you know, His Agadam is He. And we call Him uh, Ibuk Funga, which means, you know, the one that's above us. Ours is a more natural religion because, you know, we're outside, you know, we're, uh, we're underneath the stars, you know, we're not in a building, a enclosed building and stuff, you know, we don't ask for anything. The only thing that we ask for is, uh, you know, for our people to be well, you know, thanking um, the Creator, you know, for the blessings and things that He gives us. And uh, when I put my, you know, my chief hat on, you know, I, uh, you know, try to make sure that I do things according to what I was taught. Because all those things lead up to prayer that goes to the Creator. You know, what they say that our, uh, when we build our fire, um, it carries, the smoke carries our prayers and thoughts, you know, up to the Creator. And uh, it lets the Creator know that we're still here doing, you know, the things that uh, we were taught. So to me, it's kind of like a pure religion. You know? Either way, you know, you're close to God. Back in the day, you know, uh, there were a lot of old people that had knowledge, you know, and uh, that's one of those things, you know, that we uh, we say, you know, when we were, you know, conducting uh, ceremonies and stuff, you know, you know, there was a time, you know, if we did something and we weren't sure how to do it, you know, we could turn around and ask, ask somebody that was older and they could, you know, tell us. But now when we turn around, there's nobody there. Hey, young man, I said, we're the elders now. So, uh, um, the loss of the language, you know, the loss of, uh, you know, I know we were trying to, you know, to bring that language back and everything, but, you know, that's what scares me the most. The young folks now are, they look at the ceremony as, you know, as a place to go dance without knowing the true value of it, you know. Um, I don't think the dancing part will ever will ever die out because, you know, a lot of people, you know, like I said, a lot of young kids are interested in stuff, but they don't know why they're doing it. I think we need to uh, kind of direct them in, in, in the way that, uh, you know, the importance of everything. Now.